from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good evening, everyone. Temperatures right now are feeling very mild out there, but not just for us here in Maryland. Look at what's going on across the mid-Atlantic region, mainly in the mid and upper 70s and even the lower 80s. Right now, Hagerstown is sitting at a temperature of 82 degrees, 75 down towards central Virginia, and even the further south you travel down towards the Carolinas, still kind of hanging out in the low to mid 70s right now. And that's the same case with us here across Maryland. Chestertown is currently sitting at 75 degrees. Dew point values are still a little bit on the higher end of the scale right now in the upper 60s and the lower 70s. So that's why it's feeling a tad bit muggy out there. Uh, but looking at your muggy meter, what we can expect as we head into tomorrow. Dew point values I'm thinking across the entire viewing area will be ranging in the mid and upper 60s and the lower 70s once again. That's going to allow it to feel a little bit sticky out there for tomorrow afternoon. So if you're not a big fan of the heat and even the humidity, uh, you probably won't like how tomorrow will feel. But we will still keep our dew point values a little bit elevated as we progress into the holiday weekend before they really start to soar as we head into early next week. Right now, silent radar not really showing much, but I did mention that backdoor cold front that's going to be sliding in from the north and east. That will start to drop in as we head into your Saturday morning, and it can and it will actually continue to drop farther south down towards Richmond even by Raleigh, North Carolina, and that's going to leave the chance for some isolated showers and a few thunderstorms in the forecast as we head into Saturday along with Sunday before a ridge of high pressure starts to build back in and through uh, the viewing area. But as I progress the time clock, you'll see not really much happening tonight into tomorrow morning. We will wake up to some sunshine, uh, but then we are going to be seeing some of that extra cloud cover build in as we head into your Friday evening into early Saturday. A few isolated showers are possible, especially across the eastern shore, even around Harford. County and Cecil County. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw a pop up shower and even heard a few rumbles of thunder. So just keep that in mind and also keep an eye to the sky as we progress into your Saturday. This model run is actually depicting some of this cloud cover uh, kind of tracking farther south as we head into your Saturday evening. But I do think that we might see a few pop up rain showers here and there because it's going to be feeling a tad bit humid and the atmosphere will be a bit unstable. Uh, but for tomorrow, your uh, pool forecast not looking too bad. Hot, hot, hot for tomorrow. 97 degrees for your 4th of July. Keep that extra raincoat on standby. Maybe that umbrella with you as well. We could be dealing, you might be dodging a few isolated rain showers and a few thunderstorms, not just for Saturday, but also for for Sunday as well. Upper 80s and the lower 90s as we head into early next week above normal temperatures and we're going to keep that window for showers and storms back in the forecast Monday through Thursday. Back yeah. to you.